Now, to be honest, y'all, I really don't know how to start this video. Um, let's know from the get-go what it is. Uh, this video is about Illuminati. As some of y'all know, I have some uh, pretty tight ties with the Illuminati. And uh, from what I was told, I was Illuminati. Now, I had a lot of people warn me, you know, hey, uh, watch out, you know, watch out, man, they're gonna fuck you up, they're gonna screw you over, they're gonna, you can get what they can, they're gonna fuck you up, you know? Now, meanwhile, while everybody else is saying, hey, be careful, Illuminati's gonna fuck you up, you know, I got Illuminati coming over here telling me, you know, words of wisdom, you know, they're teaching me, you know, about actions and how they speak louder than words and about honor about how you're supposed to respect not just yourself but those around you because how you create your surroundings is how you make the world that you live in and how you make the world you live in makes you the product of that environment that you created so you can create your own environment to be a product of right so I got all these you know, words of wisdom getting at me, right? And they're telling me truth about the history, about the world, and, you know, of Europe and Africa, and explaining why certain scrolls weren't included in the Bible, and explaining why certain wars were erased from history. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're giving me the insight, you know? It's so, like, look, this is why, this is why, this is why give me an understanding, yeah, so, yeah, you know, you gotta, you gotta understand where I'm at, you know what I'm saying, I mean, these mugs just come up to me and they're only telling me good shit. Well, I defended them. I defended the fuck out of them, right, some of y'all know, I've defended the fuck out of them. And, uh, they were nice enough to, uh, take my lawyers. Try to take my house, freeze my accounts, drain my money, pressure some family, eliminate some of my friends. Y'all right? <clears throat> what can I say? You know what I'm saying? These little fuckers that have a lot of good knowledge, a lot of good knowledge, a lot of good wisdom, they're fucking assholes. I mean, just like y'all said, you know, hey, y'all be careful. Hey, man, be careful. They're fucking asses, and they're going to fuck you. Well, you know, it, I'm one of them live and learn motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I like to live and learn. You know, that's how I get stuff figured out. You know, it's like, hey, yo, try to find a place for my fucking camera. I'm tired of damn holding the thing. But anyway, uh, you know, they say, you know, you got to be careful because they're going to screw you over. You know, I got... I got books, man. I got information. I got packets. I got mailings. I got all kinds of shit. You know, I know some symbols. I know some handshakes. I know some secret codes. I know I know the ways to touch into the Illuminati people. You know, I can go up to another Illuminati member and be able to tell. And they can do the same with me. But now I'm in the confusion stage of what the fuck to do next. So, I figured, fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and make a video, post on YouTube, and let the Luma fucks see it. So, yeah, you know, I gave him a shot. I gave him a chance. You know, I did what I should have done. You know, what we are supposed to do, what we're told to do, is hear people out. You know, see things from their point of view. Try to get an understanding of their perspective and where they're coming from. And that way you can better understand the decisions they've made. I don't know what the fuck their decisions were based upon. But if some of y'all can contest, you know, as far as I see it, the motherfuckers owe me a treasure chest. You know, I mean, I mean it. They owe me a fucking treasure chest. And they owe some other y'all a treasure chest too. And you know who you are. They owe you a treasure chest. I ain't talking about Lone Wolf. You know what I'm saying? He's a little fucking fuck. You know what I'm saying? Xavier, whatever the fuck he wants to call himself, Kitty, whatever, um, or Florida fuck, whatever you want to call yourself, um, 
Not him either. I don't know, I'm really pissed, really upset, really disappointed. Um, I put my faith in it. Yeah, I really did. I put my faith in it, and I gave it my 120%. And I gave it my 120% 24-7. They came to me and they told me that Anonymous has actually done more damage to them in the last few years than has had happened to them in the last hundred years. And they figured since I was a truth or conspiracy theorist and Anonymous supporter and an on myself that I would be the way to come on through and uh, get some people to stop attacking them. Well. I'm at a cross point here, y'all. I know where they're at. I know a lot of their names. Can I tell y'all? Can I show y'all where they're at? No. Sure can't. And the reason being is because I got a family. You know, I got two girls. So, you know, they really grabbed up my balls and just held on to them. You know, it's just dangerous. You know, I knew that going into it. You know, I knew that going in, but I actually envisioned it like the Masons, you know, because, you know, I did great there. Why can't I do great with Illuminati, right? Well, that's because they're completely corrupted. Completely corrupted. And I'm looking at it, and here's here's a benefit that I've gotten from this whole thing, is I've, I've learned, is I'm looking at how they've done it. You know, they're all like, hey, we're your buddy. Hey, we're your friend. We're your brother. We're your father. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're going to help you. We're going to make it so you can make a change. So you can help others. Because that's all I've ever wanted to do. You know, I just like helping people. You know, I just, it's just something I like to do. You know, it, it gets me off, you know. I get happy and giddy about it. You know, I'll sit at home whenever I'm depressed or something. I'll think, you know, them homeless fucks got some good good blankets on, good jackets and socks and shoes and underwear and soap, you know, they got their stuff, you know, and I feel good about that, no matter how bad my life is feeling, I remember about the good that I've done, and that was kind of my hope with the Illuminati, you know, I was really hoping to do a shitload of good with that, I mean, think about the power, right, think about it, you know, if you have all that resource and that power, can't you use it for good, wield it for good, well see, what they want to do is they want to wield it for selfishness, okay, I'm not all about the individualness of it, you know, they want me to actually, you know, make profit and become part of the elite and, you know, kick them some cutbacks, you know, out of my percentage, kind of like the mafia did back in the day, you know, you run a business, well, we'll keep you protected, give us this cut. You know, that's what it was. That's what it was. And I don't regret it. I don't regret it one bit. Not one bit. Yeah, things are kind of fucked right now. You know, I'm I'm out thousands of dollars. And, uh, you know, truth be known, y'all, I got $25 to my name. You know what I'm saying? Wife and two kids in the house and car. You said, 25 bucks. You know, I'm a 36-year-old man. You know what I'm saying? I only got $25. You know what I'm saying? My account, gone. You know what I'm Savings, gone. Everything's gone. It's time to start from the get-go again. Now, I knew that that would be a possibility when dealing with these fools, right? But the way I saw it was, I just got done losing my house and everything anyways in 2009. I've already been at this stage. You know, I've already lost everything, been at the bottom. And uh, lo and behold, fuckers couldn't take me down. Here I am, still at my house. This is Saturday, whatever the day it is, I don't know, let me check, I know it's June 29th, Saturday, June 29th, and they don't have my house, they ain't gonna get my house, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna not only keep my house, I'm actually getting extra land on top of it, so, ha ha ha, to them, they can freeze my accounts, they can fuck with my taxes, they can do all they want to, and it ain't gonna affect me. So, all y'all that have wondered, you know, what the fuck is wrong with Eric here? Why is he doing Illuminati, Mason, and all that shit? 
because I needed to know. You know, I needed to know. You needed to know. We all needed to know. Yeah, yeah. Everybody says, hey, watch out for them. But I've never seen anybody actually deal with them in the way that I have. I've never seen anybody explain to the masses what is going on and what's happening with them and whether or not they're real or not because there's a lot of rumors about them being real and or fake. And the truth is, is there are multiple sects of anon of uh, <laughs> yeah. We all know there's multiple sects of anonymous, but there's multiple sects of Illuminati too. Um, I'm pretty damn sure there are some great ones, as I felt as I was a great one myself. Yeah, I'm sure there are some others. However, it's that control. Yeah, they can grip you. They can hold you. Now, I don't give a fuck. And that's just the way it is, you know. Dying of prostate cancer anyway. I mean, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? But, that is actually on the up and up. So, so far there ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? So far everything's gone. Everything's gone. But, still gotta wait to see if anything pops back up. Whatever, you know. I'm actually starting to eat again. I know you all see my ribs down here. You know, lost some weight. But, gaining it back. Still feeling healthy. Well, this is a long ass video now, and it's probably gonna take me a couple of days to get it up because them fuckers hitting signals. But it is what it is, and I really am glad that it happened. I'm kind of honored that I was able to experience this shit in life. Uh, very few can actually see it and know it. You know what I'm saying? Before, I was a conspiracy theorist. You know, it was a theory. Now it's fucking facts, you know, now it's back to the truther. And that helps me turn around and tell everybody what I should have done, right? Put the mask on, went anonymous on it. But my voice is going to be heard, you know. Y'all need to check out that damn PlayStation commercial they fucking stole. Oh my god, I was so pissed, so pissed, so pissed. But that's okay, I'll let it go, I'll let it go, I'll let it go. Hey y'all. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. Look up the new 2013 PlayStation commercial, okay? Greatness awaits. Okay? Watch that motherfucker. And when you watch it, consider it a message from me to you. Okay? Because that's what it was supposed to be. Um, Check it out. I'm going to leave it at that. You know, right after you watch this, go straight to PlayStation Commercial 2013 Greatness Awaits. I want y'all to watch that, and I want y'all to re-watch that, and I want y'all to listen to that. Because that's what it's about. That's the message. That's the message right there. Greatness Awaits. I appreciate it, everybody. appreciate everything. This is a fucking 13 minute and 20 something second video. Chances are 90% of y'all watched the first five minutes and hadn't made it to this part. So, because of that, you know, they've missed a lot of other knowledge. They didn't hear it out. They didn't see it to the end. Now, I'd like to thank uh, United. I'd like to thank Gatekeeper. I'd like to thank Devious. I'd like to thank Anthrax. I'd like to thank Resistance. Man, dude. Fucking awesome. Um, there's a lot of people I'd like to thank. You know, a lot of people I'd like to thank. And the ones that I have just thanked, I know can deal with any kind of repercussion that happens because I thank them due to the attacks on me. You know, so I thank somebody and they're probably going to get attacked. But they're strong and they know how to handle it. I have faith in them as well as y'all should too. A few more days till uh, 4th of July. I'm going to be on here. Uh, let me go ahead and say this, y'all. If I catch you on the internet on 4th of July, period, I see a comment, I see a plug, a video upload, any of that shit. Any of that shit. On 4th of July 2013, I will not communicate with you. I will not. Okay, period, period. Because... This op needs to be done, okay? You do not get online on 4th of July. 
Okay, you pass out constitutions, you speak about freedoms to the public, okay? Plug Anon. Plug it. You don't have to say that you are. Just plug it.